<laughs> Waggle to run. Clip, 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 clip. Kason's uh, bar is still open. <laughs> Evade Toad Burp. That was my nickname in high school. Uh, he appears to be in front of us. That seems bad. Oh no, okay. It's a, it's a round, I don't know where the hell this is supposed to be, but it's a round I tower. I remember, oh right, we're, we were in a the tower theater. Square. Yeah, the theater is in the, the town hall. Rumble! It's the clock. Bong. Okay, this is, this is, I mean, if all we're gonna do is evade him once he catches up to us, there's really no point in running, is there? Um... I, I suspect if you let him get too close. Yeah, I don't know. Nope. Alright. It is possible to fail. Oh, it slows you down. That's a bitch. <laughs> failing makes you failing, girl. That, that's. I hate games like that. Uh... It's like a diamond toad grandma in an old school wrestling suit. <laughs> okay. You look more like a bug. And I mean, obviously, like the red room, we're going for some sort of like the, the lodge, right? I mean. Yeah. Now, if this stairway is infinite, then Zack has no yeah. chance. Since it's kind of a, a building of the imagination or something, it, it could go infinite. It's like a room in the house of leaves. I'm sure you hated that book. <laughs> You're an annoying little book. What do you, the viewer... I like it, but I can definitely see it coming across as really pretentious and... <laughs> what do you, the viewer, think? Did Mark Z. Daniel Lewski's uh, breakout novel enrage or uh, draw you in? I, you know what I did love, though, which is uh, very similar in how pretentious it is? Uh, oh God, what? S. S by J.J. Uh, Abrams and... God, I cannot remember the other name. I think it starts with a D, uh, who I assume did most of the writing. Um, but it is... Never even heard of it. It is a... Uh, it's difficult to describe. It is kind of like... It, it feels to me like a love letter to the literary form. It's about two characters kind of... interacting through margin notes on a fake novel. That's an interesting conceit. Oh, oh. Okay, we finally found a door. Ooh. I liked House of Leaves better the second read through because I when I wasn't in the mood I wouldn't follow the the breadcrumbs to various appendices mm. and stuff. Look, he's at the top of the tower after climbing down all that way. Well, you know, it's like that when you're out walking, sometimes it feels like you're going up but you're actually going down, and vice versa. That's that's life. All right, baby. the end. Done. Yeah. What are we gonna do for two hours and thirty-four seconds, or thirty-four minutes? There's some dandruff that the clock tower had. I will avenge your death. Just for the rest of the game, he wanders around the town and says goodbye to each and every resident, <laughs> make up for all the pain including the unnamed um, ones. I don't think the, the dress is gonna. Came to my hotel room. Didn't seem to fit you right. We, we don't have a coroner, or we don't have a funeral parlor, um, so I'm wondering what all these corpses are, what's going to happen to them. Because if there's a funeral parlor, I think it should have been in the game. That just seems oh, likely. Oh, we got Kaiju Kaysen now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kaysen 3. Let's see if you can spot his weak spot. Kaiju Kaysen! <laughs> That's cute. Kason, I've been meaning to tell you. This. I don't like you. You're one crazy.
crazy guy. And he's a a, a a boss with a with a weak spot, um, you know, cliche. But it's kind of interesting how they use it. A little different. <laughs> this is just so bizarre. This is we're in like whole new levels of odd at this point. Yeah. It, you know, uh, story-wise, it's a little bit cheating to my mind because we're, in the finale, we're introducing, as you say, whole new levels of weirdness that aren't, um, kind of break the rules that we were set up with for the whole rest of the story. It's, it's just, it's like, we're now playing a completely different character. <laughs> uh, we, we literally are, and, yes. Uh, and, essentially a different game because I mean the gameplay mechanics are all yeah different. I mean I it and I, I and it's like <laughs> I don't know in a in a game that has supernatural or alien characters it's always important to kind of set up rules you know yeah it's got to be consistent uh, even even if it's not real it's still got to be consistent and it's and this happen. this weather looks totally different than like any of the sort of weather that we've dealt with before you know yeah that, that shelter didn't work there yeah good exactly. try though good try geekmeister i would have tried it myself um yeah it's a fake I, out. it's like i would never like. have gotten this far by myself though let's be honest yeah no right it's like this many hours in and i would still be driving to that first meeting <laughs> I mean, this kind of gives it, like, a weird sort of, uh... Like, 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 he's almost an angel with this sort of shit, right? Yeah. Uh, little doll's it hard looks to hit. Like it. Jesus. I don't understand. I mean, I guess because it's not powerful enough, but I'm like, get out the fucking Uzi or whatever it is and just you know, spray that area. Spray yeah. and pray. Um, it is possible the game forces the weapon, too. I, I don't know. Oh, that might be. Because when I when I watched another player do it, this is what he used as well. Yeah, I guess you usually see the other weapons above and below there, so maybe it is forced, yeah. Ain't that a bitch. At least the Magnum's a good one. Yeah, yeah it seems powerful since we're... Opera? Like, it's like, what, we've had three shots and we've got them down to... Yeah, it's not as powerful as it was on George, obviously. Right. It, it shouldn't be. I, I like boss battles that are clever and challenging and not simply tedious. I've got to shoot him 317 yeah. times. I really wish this would do, like, the Crank 2 thing, though, and somehow we would be able to get Giant and fucking Kaiju battling. <laughs> oh, come on. That was a hit. What was that bullshit? That was definitely a hit. If, if you can't quite make out what uh, Kaysen's saying, because I'm not sure if he's being subtitled, but he's... He's baffled. He doesn't understand how he's getting hurt. Yeah, why Why are you not able dumb. to see the subtitles? Oh, your your microphone bar or whatever? Oh, it was sub subtitled. Okay. I, I'll figure out a, a, a different orientation <laughs> for next time. <laughs> You're going to pray out the gay in between now and then? Yes. Spray and pray the mm -hmm. gay. Still proud of that line from our new moon riff. I can't supine out the loop. Oh, nice! Some vocabulary in there. <laughs> uh, okay. His, oh, he does have other his, weapons. His bar is gone. What are we? Oh, he's okay. He's he's done with the battle. He's like maybe I should. Now he's a puzzle he's like, boss. Maybe I shouldn't hold this uh, weakness out here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my pocket now. Now I'll fight. Okay. He's more of a puzzle boss now. I'm a puzzle boss. But you don't know where the doll went. <laughs> His uh, overalls are presumably titanium because he can't shoot through the pocket. Maybe he put it in his mouth. He's not talking any. 
It's up his butt. There's kind of screechy opera in the background. Yep, another thing that gives this a sort of religious overtone. Yeah. Even the, the patterning on the floor has kind of churchy look to it. Yep. No, oh, thank goodness he's just holding on here. Whoa, this is getting all, uh, like, uh, God of War here. Yes. <laughs> Shot that right into a cutscene. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? I think he's the same thing that uh, Pennywise is. I mean, he, he doesn't have the spidery affect, but he changes shapes. He's confused when people hurt him. Yeah, I mean, he's from uh, somewhere else. Yes. It's because you don't understand humans. Shoot him in the ball. <clears throat> Nine and nine, red balloons. <laughs> Whoa, all right, okay. He turned into liver. Cool guys don't have to look at explosions, even if it's like liver god creatures getting exploded. Exactly. I, okay. But he has to walk slow-mo. Now, where is he gonna wind up? In heaven. Everything is fine. Who am I? What's going on? These things. No. Now start kissing. Kiss. Purple gas kind of was generated directly by Kaysen in some fashion, I guess. Or the rain. I don't... Was that the past? I don't even know what the hell that was. I think that was the present, where uh, York or Zack came through the, the crowd of people who were attacking him. They all got but cured. the crowd of people who were attacking us were people we knew. I didn't recognize those people. Don't wait for him to uh, I wasn't paying attention, honestly. You're handling her a little roughly, honestly. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm just going to put my uh, hand into your uh, area here. That's, that's mm -hmm. cool, right? I mean, you're not cold yet. squeak. Yes. I would have been disappointed if that didn't squeak. <laughs> Said the actress of the mission. Holy shit. There's another 220 hours. Yeah. I have no recollection of a of an end game after after that final it, battle. It probably really is him going around saying goodbye to everyone. <laughs> maybe we go through that again. I mean, we've got cards to get, so maybe we're going to play through that battle again, except this time he's going to have a card on top of his head or some shit. Oh, God, you're actually at least partially right. I, I do think that's a replayable battle. Oh, boy. Okay, well. <laughs> that's okay. We can bullshit through it. <laughs> that's what we do. We're bullshit artists. Yep. Okay. Yeah, wait. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Maybe this is everything. This is like an hour and a half of it. It's just my other personality of the previously yeah. things in <laughs> that must be extracted. No matter. Extracted wasn't the word he used the first time, was yeah, it? I'm I don't sorry, think so. I... Just change the I translation for no reason. <laughs> Why can you cause me pain? Maybe extracted gives you more of a, a an impression of pulling the the tree out. Whoa, that's okay. Did he just cry red tree? <laughs> it's like the Silent Hill movie where the little girl's yelling, Silent Hill! <laughs> Silent Hill! Do you know the original Japanese title transliterates to uh, Red Seed Profile? I'm sure he'll be very happy. Which, while not really elegant, makes so much more sense than Deadly Premonition. Yeah, Deadly Premonition. I mean, you could make a case for the Premonition, but the Premonition isn't deadly, per se. Although a story titled that where it was meaningful might be interesting. Oh, now his head is bandaged. Oh, and now he doesn't need the mask anymore. 
he, I think he is the guy from the Are you leaving today? Oh, maybe. Shit, I don't know. Maybe. Zap, that story I told you the other Made day. it up. Okay. Did you believe any of it? Okay. You either type to get your voice simulator out, or you move your lips because you're talking. You don't do both. I'm very sorry about her. He's just transcribing everything that he says at all times. It's like a stenographer's uh, keyboard, keypad. Harry, I have a few questions for you. I think it's just a bad model. That's, about that's what, what it is. Zach? Your last name isn't really Stewart, is it? No, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry he was George's dad? That doesn't really make a difference about anything at all. When I was there. No. Oh yeah, he said you were there but in the white room, so it was him. Uh, George's uh, mother was abusive to him, so you gotta wonder about his dad, man. Ah, there it is. Did you shoot yourself across your throat? It's not a good aim for, for trying to kill yourself. Don't blame it on mental illness. Abusive parenting it does not require an illness. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's attributed so much it adds to the stigma of the illness, and it's... But... Not okay. But we didn't. We, we didn't have the courage to kill Emily, so... It's true. Okay, this place isn't real, you should know that. It's not real. But apparently it is. Well... As real as the, the white room, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it is the because, white room, right? Which has some level of reality, at least enough for two people to have experienced it. Three. It's fully at the... Yeah. Uh, plus the kids, maybe? Or maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there is one more quest that, I, that I'm remembering that hasn't been done yet. Hey, Michael. Mind stopping yeah, the car for a moment? Very well, oh, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. Just hammer that in there one more time in case he missed it. <laughs> Zack Morgan. Well, fair enough. Zach. Michael does call him by by full name all the time. Morgan. Zack <laughs> Morgan. You, uh, you guys gonna me. bite me again? There's Willie. Yep. Look out for him. <laughs> they they did not include that in, in, in the actual plot of the game, but that was Swery's intent, that Willie was the mastermind. I'm keeping an eye on you, York. <laughs> the town map is actually shaped like him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is weird. That's right. Us white-haired guys gotta stick together. <laughs> it's a shame about Emily. And, and Ray. The other girls, too. Uh, what what are we looking here? We are we How like are raising Isaac forty for Tabitha? Yes. All right. Well, this is this is fun. Oh, they're fine. Here. They still don't think the girls are dead. I wonder if he's including Thomas when he says that. Which that? When he says the girls are dead. Mm. Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Because to, to Yorkzak and the player, Thomas is part of the, the, assort, the assembly. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Kind of. Emily said it's a present for Zach. It's some red seeds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where did you get That's this? Crazy. Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zack there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She, she said hates she's you. too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zack. She really likes you. It's it's a butt plug. That's odd. Why? Uh, <laughs> not me. 
No, see, Thomas is there, so I guess the kids are seeing Thomas when they say the girls. Yeah, standing there. kids are at least, yeah. Anyways, you two. Be nice to the girls. So, okay? and they'll be nice so to I guess you. it's like... We don't like girls. <laughs> girls are boring. Let's just plant some trees in them. Um, so I guess they, it's kind of like, uh... Oh, hell. You know, it's like, because they're kids or whatever, they're able to see through the veil or whatever in this forest, right? Yeah, Gotta love seems that way. It's full of energy. Meanwhile, Michael's on his, like, fifth Sudoku. <laughs> Emily. York. Sounds like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York. I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. He was crazy. To masturbate? It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Uh. Then, then he knelt and masturbated. That's what he said. Mr. Francis Zach Morgan, if you are finished. If Michael's kind of fey in character design too. Sure. Not, not as much as. Uh, no need for that. What's his name was? You can go home. Thomas. Thomas. I want to take a look around more. I, I I'm swear gonna... I'm not a pot smoker, but my, my memory is like that of one. I'm uh, I'm gonna go shoot some shit out of trees and maybe do uh, some profiling. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> maybe I'll get a deadly premonition. <laughs> a deadly premonition of love on the Lifetime Channel.